Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite cool tone palettes. Now there are some that I do absolutely love that I won't be talking about because I don't think you can actually get them at this point anymore. So I do not see it fair to go and share that with you guys. So I hope you guys do like this video. And by the way, if you see me wearing this outfit, the same exact makeup, in a couple videos I am pre-recording. I'm gonna be doing it actual vlog style. Um, I thought it'd be easier if I just already had my normal makeup videos done, edited, uploaded, can just pop on whenever I set it to, instead of doing all that and feeling overwhelmed. As you guys know, my whole makeup journey, I've realized that I really love cool tones. I think they're the most flattering I could ever put on my face. They are the most flattering. And I have really learned what kind of cool tones I specifically like. So I have a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes to share with you guys if you're just starting to get into it. Um, they're all over the price range. There's high end, there's, you know, drugstore, and it's just a little bit of everywhere. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the ColourPop Fame Palette. I love this palette. It is beautiful. Now, I don't think it it is now I don't think it is completely cool toned because you do have some like a neutral shade right there. I do think though it is a very I'm trying to I do think it is very beautiful and I think if you overall love cool tones or neutrals this is a really good palette. ColourPop formula is very very good, very buttery, very creamy. They're their shimmer shades are to die for. I love their formula. So we have the Morphe 9S palette. I already mentioned this in another video, but I really do like it. You have a beautiful mauve tone right there. You have a grayish that I think is perfect for a nice transition shade or a, or a very quick makeup look where you just throw that in your crease and put on your lash line. You have a nice cool toned brown. You also have some blues if you're into a pops of color. I'm not so much into it. If I could remove these from the palette, I totally would. But if you do like it, it's there. And they also have these beautiful shimmer shades. I think work really well with this palette. I love Morphe Formula. It's amazing. It has a Humongo Giganto mirror. So I know that the Sultry palette has being, is being discontinued. I think you can only buy it on the ABH website but i do know that they have a couple dupes floating around so i'm going to be talking about the w7 seduced palette which is literally the same thing as the sultry palette i would really recommend this if you could not get your hands on the sultry palette but you really really wanted it um they w7 has a dupe i think makeup revolution has the dupe and i also believe that shop alter ego has a dupe and i heard from i think budition budiction I, i'm not i think it's budiction how you pronounce it link her channel she mentioned how the dupe by alter ego is very comparable to abh formula if not even better and she prefers that one so um i'm just showing this up showing this one specifically for the sultry palette dupe if you can still get your hands on it i would totally recommend buying it it does have a pop of um like a peachy shade it does have like a, a mustardy shade that i'm not the biggest fan of and i kind of wish they didn't have either of those shades in there but i do really like the sultry palette it is beautiful the formulas are amazing so i know that this brand has a lot of flack and is not very highly rated on the youtube world but i'm going to be talking about kat von d I really do like this eyeshadow palette mostly because I think it has a beautiful cool toned shades in it in it like beautiful and I think they're the perfect ashy tone for fair skin I mean I like someone with really fair skin can use this color as a contour shade use this as a very light bronzing effect Overall, I really do like this palette. Just if I like it, I'll buy it. I like I don't I don't think any more than that. That's just me. I might wind up putting this in a project pan just to even use it up completely and get my money's worth out of it. But this shade, I mean, I cannot 
get over like how beautiful and ashy the, sh the shade is. Like I love it and I cannot get enough of it. So I do know that Makeup Revolution had a dupe for that palette. I will make sure to link it down below if they still sell it. And if you really do want that palette but do not want to support Kat Von D, I mean, I totally understand. Um, I just wanted... I just thought when I saw that palette in person that that ashy tone was a lot more ashy than the Makeup Revolution one, so that's kind of why I went for that. So next we have the Naked Basics 2. This is a cult classic. Come on, you think cool toned eyeshadow palettes and you kind of think Naked Basics 2, Naked Naked 2, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think feel I don't feel like I have to say that much about this eyeshadow palette. Like we all we all know this palette. Come on, but I. I'm at, but I will say I am using this as a project pan. I didn't want to officially announce it on camera because I was never able to really dedicate myself to the other project pans that I have because I just, every time I tried to pan something, I just, I hated it. I hated it. I hated whatever I picked and it just wasn't something. I was just like, screw it. I don't care anymore. So I decided to go and pan this. Now this is more on the neutral slash smoky side. Milani Soft and Sultry palette, which I'm sorry for, you know, blinding you guys. This is gonna be your neutral slash smoky palette. Cut. Now here's the thing. When this fir first came out, this looked a lot more, this looked a lot more um, cool toned in the pictures than it actually was. When I put this on, this was more on the neutral side, at least for my preference, um, because it has this brown shade. It's not a true ashy color as I would expect. It's more neutral. I mean, I would recommend this over the Naked Basics too. So I already talked about these two in another video, but this, the Tartlet in Bloom is a cult classic. I mean, this has been around for how long? I feel like everyone and everyone's mother probably has this palette, but it's beautiful. I think it's the perfect everyday neutral shade. I think it's perfect for if you're on the go or if you don't like to do crazy looks. I definitely think this is up your alley. You have beautiful shimmer shades that I think are absolutely stunning. Um, this palette in particular does on my skin tone lean more warm because I am so cool complected. Um, but I really, I still really love it. I still do consider it a neutral palette because, you know, not everyone is as fair as I am or have has super cool skin tone as I do. But I really, really do love it. I think it's amazing. The formula is amazing. The shimmers are amazing. I would highly recommend it. And, you know, if you don't want to spend the money on this, I would recommend just going for the Milani I, or the ColourPop. I think that it is very, very comparable in performance. I think they're absolutely amazing. The Tartlet Original. I feel like if I had a cool tone slash neutral ded dedicated video and if I didn't mention this, people would be riding. But this is a cult classic. It has all matte, so if you do like shimmer, this would not be the palette for you. But I will say though, if you like the purpley, mauvey tones or really ashy tones like in this row, I think this palette would be perfect for you. Um, this is someone who just likes their mattes or who is able to use their highlighter as their shimmer shade every single time. I really do like this palette. The formula is blendable, it's creamy, it's buttery. I really recommend it. I really do love it. And I, I, I really do love these palettes. They're amazing. And last but certainly not least, we have the Ulta Beauty Everyday Faves. Now this is more of a neutral palette because it does have some warmer shades, but overall I would say it's mostly neutral. This palette is so beautiful. I think Ulta Beauty makeup line is so underrated, you guys have no idea. Um, this palette blends for itself. I had no issues blending out any of these formulas. Um, you have a beautiful camel color and a slightly cooler toned um, camel color and then you have like a pale grayish mauve or a grayish and then you have like a purpley brown and like a nice rich chocolate brown. I can't complain. I mean this is a beautiful palette and no like I'm surprised nobody has talked about this formula or this palette. I think it's beautiful. I would highly recommend um, 
110%, especially if you want something that's high-end but can't afford like the Tarte palette or you want something that's a little bit, you know, or you want something with a little bit of shimmer or you're not really into cool tones but you do want like very neutral tones. I think this is the perfect palette for you. This, like, it is beautiful. And I think this would be beautiful on a lot of different skin tones. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!